soil health and its influence on plant growth, yield, and quality. Healthy soil is the foundation of our food system. The soil supplies essential nutrients, water, oxygen, and root support that food-producing plants need to grow and flourish. Soil health can be assessed in many ways, but simply put, there is less biodiversity in cultivated soil compared with even a decade ago, and soil quality and fertility continue to decline worldwide. Yet, in order to feed our growing population, it's estimated that our food production must increase 56% by the year 2050 in order to provide sufficient nutrition for nearly 10 billion people. This is a remarkable challenge, especially facing wide seasonal fluctuations and an ever-changing climate. To maximize our production capacity, create future food security, and be socially, ecologically, and economically sustainable, we must start by understanding, improving, and maintaining our soil's health. Redox's comprehensive approach to soil health ties together three fundamentally interdependent agronomic disciplines, soil chemistry, soil biology, and plant physiology. Soil chemistry is one method of monitoring and evaluating soil health. The balance or imbalance of soil components can affect overall soil health, structure, and nutrient availability. Different plants need different soil types, but optimally soil is a matrix made up of 50% solid, 25% water, and 25% airspace by volume. The solid components of soil are a mixture of organic and inorganic matter. At a molecular level, soil components are chemically active and interact based on their charge. Both organic matter and mineral particles, known as soil colloids, have a net negative charge, and they can attract and hold mineral ions that have positive charges, called cations. Key influential cations are calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, and hydrogen. Calcium has the unique power to promote flocculation, the beneficial aggregation of soil colloids into an ideal functional structure containing macropores and micropores. Elements like hydrogen and sodium have the opposite impact. Too much hydrogen, too much sodium, or a lack of calcium causes deflocculation, or dispersion. This pore structure impairs water and air infiltration into the soil. However, in a proper ratio, mineral ions establish stable aggregates that create balanced water and air movement. This sets the stage for optimal root penetration, growth, and function nutrient uptake by the plant, and serves as a dependable environment that favors plant support of soil life. There is an incredibly diverse macro and microscopic community of organisms that lie beneath the soil surface. A soil's biodiversity reflects a symbiotic relationship with the plants that grow within it and is a revealing indicator of soil health. A balanced soil structure with proper water-air exchange forms a nurturing habitat for soil organisms and their interactions reinforce soil stability. Organisms particularly beneficial to plants require not only oxygen, but also a regular food source in the form of carbon. Most soil organisms utilize dead and decaying organic matter as their carbon source and thus serve a crucial role in the nutrient cycle. Their steady rate of decomposition creates a gradual turnover, releasing a rich supply of mineral nutrients that are plant ready. However, anaerobic soil conditions where oxygen is lacking is selective for certain organisms that are detrimental to plant growth. This decrease in biological diversity creates conditions that promote organisms that parasitize the plant and other surrounding beneficial soil life. The end result is a drastic reduction in soluble nutrients and root growth. The key to turning these effects around and fostering plant-favorable soil life is managing the relative availability of soluble carbon through such practices as avoiding excessive tillage, which prevents oxidation of organic matter, reducing effects of soil compaction and increased soil density that is typically caused by agricultural machinery and other agronomic practices, using high-efficiency, low-salt inputs, and eliminating the use of chemical inputs with destructive side effects. Increasing the level of soluble carbon makes an immediate improvement in soil fertility and in turn increases soil biodiversity and plant growth. 
The most dynamic and integral contribution to soil health is actually provided by the living plant itself. A plant has the ability to use sunlight energy to convert carbon in the atmosphere into chemical energy in the form of carbohydrates. It uses these carbon-based compounds for either above-ground or below-ground purposes. Carbohydrates can be the building blocks for growth, but they can also be used to modify a plant's surroundings. Through its roots, a plant can exude up to 60% of its carbohydrates into the rhizosphere in an effort to correct localized chemical imbalances, to provide food to stimulate beneficial microorganisms outcompeting pathogenic ones, and to mobilize necessary nutrients in the root zone into forms that can be easily taken in. This reciprocal relationship translates directly to a plant's success. It's through this vibrant network of activity that the plant can suppress disease and insect pests, retain nitrogen in the root zone, and determine a host of other soil characteristics central to its physiological processes. Our approach at Redox is unique and science-based. We are continually working to identify custom strategies for all types of growing conditions, strategies that enhance the natural synergy that the plant has with the soil and its contents, and strategies that replenish components that are missing or lost. The plant can then dedicate the majority of its photosynthetic energy to other vital and productive processes like growth and development. By designing nutritional methods that facilitate these interdependent interactions, we can improve and rebuild the health of your soil and help you discover your growth potential. That's Growing Beyond with Redox.